action. So we are going to look at constructing parallel lines and there are two ways to do that according to the sheet that I handed out to you. I'm going to actually show you the first way to do it because that's the easier way to do it. So this is what I recommend doing. So when you have a parallel line, the situation is going to be that you have a line and basically you have a dot out here and you want to somehow create a line that is parallel to this line that goes through that dot. So somewhere over here we'll have a second line that's parallel. And again a reminder that parallel means that those two lines will never meet, that they'll both continue and never touch. So for example a line like that would not be parallel because it would angle and eventually meet this line. So the easy way to do that is to mark any point to the left of that dot over here and to create an arc from the point there all the way up to that extra point up here. Okay, that's going to be the easiest way. Make an arc, whoops, I lost my compass there. Got to press in that piece, tighten it up a little, and we'll try that again. There we go. Now we need to do simply two more arcs at the same measurement and we're done. So we have this point here and we have now this intersection point here. We simply go to this point here, make an arc with the same measurement over here. Moved a little bit, didn't do a very good job there. And another arc over here, all the same measurement. And now I will connect those two lines, that intersection point here with that point. And now we have parallel lines which you should mark with those arrows indicating that they're parallel. So it's very simple. You're doing three arcs at the exact measurement. They're the same measurement. Let's take a quick second look at that. So if I have a line, I have a point. Let's say my point is far to the left. I can always extend this line to make it more comfortable for me. I'm going to place a point somewhere on the left here. I'm going to make a measurement with the slider that is from this point to this point here. There we go. There's my measurement. Let's make sure this is pressed down hard. Then I'm going to make my first arc. Then at this intersection point and at this point I'm going to make two more arcs out here. Same measurement. Don't have to change the measurement. There's one arc. Whoops, this is not working so well. And there's my second arc. And now we have an intersection point. When we put that point through the other point, I now have parallel lines. So that is the first method. I like it because it has one measurement and you do it three times and that's pretty basic. The other one, the second method which they show you first, is logical if you think about it. So if I have this point, well to make a parallel line, if I was, if I was going to have a, a rectangle formed here with a right angle and a right angle, well then this line would be parallel to this line. So the idea here is I'm going to make a perpendicular. We already learned how to drop a perpendicular from a point not on a line. And then we can make a perpendicular from this point out. So what does that look like? First of all, I'm going to extend that line. We've done this just last class. You put your compass point on that point that's not on the line. You do your semicircle across the bottom. Then you from the intersection point you do an arc and from the other intersection point you do another arc and through the, that intersection point you get your perpendicular line. Now we have our first right angle. Now we turn the page 90 degrees this way and we need to make a perpendicular line from a point on a line. Well now I can extend that line and now I'm doing the other method where I put my compass Again, we, when we're doing a perpendicular, we always start from the point. So I put my compass point on there. I'm going to do the semicircle, this time on the line like that. Then I'm going to approximately double my measurement. And from each intersection point here and here, I'm going to make arcs up high or down below. I'll do it up high. There is one arc. And there is the other arc. And where they intersect, right here through that point, I'm going to get my second perpendicular. When I turn the page back, we can see that this line is parallel to that line. This is a longer approach, takes much more time, but both approaches are fine for making
parallel lines. And again, you're looking for a line and a point, and you want a parallel line through the point. So the first method is to make two perpendiculars, and the second method, or the first method rather, that's the second method. The first method was to simply make one arc from a point, and then at that same length, uh, from these two points, make crisscrossing arcs, and then connect those, the point through that intersection point.